Hi guys, it's Jacob from the New England Coupon Character. This video is going to be a little bit of a vlog. Wanted to talk a little bit about the CVS coupon changes and maybe a little bit of Big Brother. So let's get into it. Uh, so there was a policy update and I know everyone's making a big deal out of it. I do think there were some big changes in it. Um, no overriding, no expired coupons, and I guess they're not supposed to really push in coupons anymore. Those are all really big deals. We can get around expired coupons, but the overriding and entering coupons, that might be a little bit of a problem. Um, but it's all right. Uh, and I think the reason this happened was because even just in the YouTube community, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, and I know this sounds a little bit greedy of me. I shouldn't say it, but... There are more and more couponers out there now, and we see that with, like, there are so many YouTubers right now, I'm subscribed to a lot of people. Um, there are so many people out there, you know, getting all these great deals at CVS, so many people following these big blogs, and CVS is finally catching on. And I think um, the stores make uh, little progressive changes um, based on, you know, more and more people are starting to, because of the internet, the power of the internet. Um, more people sharing deals, more people finally realizing, oh, this works. So when more people decide to do it, um, they evenly distribute, I guess you could say, the amount of stuff we get. So that's just my opinion. And I know that sounds bad and you're like, well, why do you have a YouTube channel? You're you're sharing deals yourself. I Like, I don't mind that, but I'm just saying that's probably the cause in my opinion. So I remember, I think it was back in 2012 or 2013. 13, I think it was 2013, CVS had a big register change, um, and everyone was like, oh my goodness, I don't know how this is going to work, when they started doing, you know, the pending validation, when you had to put things in a certain order, you know, when you couldn't scan your card every single day, where, you know, no max value auto deduction anymore, like, those were big changes then, and these are some of big changes now, and we got around those changes, um, this seems to be a little bit more significant, I guess, than before, because before it was like a little bit of a bonus, like, all right. Um, and then that's what it was like with the expired coupons. It was like, I didn't use expired manufacturer coupons, but I did use expired CVS coupons. My store let me use them up to two weeks expired, but now I can't do that anymore. So it's sort of, again, a progression of that. And we saw that, you know, we see these changes all the time, like at stores like Rite Aid, they had, you know, their change, um, changing over to Plenty Points, everyone was like, this sucks, we're going to go to CVS and Walgreens now. And I think people, you know, said that, oh, this sucks, we're going to go to Rite Aid and Walgreens, but I don't know when, um, you know, Walgreens will officially, you know, take over Rite Aid, they already have, I think, but like, close down some stores or take over their stores. So, but, you know, I don't, I have no idea whether they're going to, you know, remain um, plenty points, register rewards, if they're going to combine them, if they're going to have one or the other. But, you know, this happens as couponers. We adapt to change, um, and it's just, you know, a natural process. Just like life happens, we move on. I think this was a pretty significant policy update. Uh, but, you know, we see this all the time at places. And we will still get deals. Maybe not, you know, as killer deals. Maybe not fill up the whole table. But we will still get a couple, you know, decent deals. And if not, you know, we'll go to Target then. If not, we'll go to Walmart then. We have so many other resources and we have other things to spend our time on. Let's not just worry about this policy update. Um, I, they were glued to all of the registers, the cashiers. Um, they didn't make it out to seem like a big deal. They're saying, though, I believe there might be more things coming up. Um, my cashier was talking about, I guess, like the curbside assistance thing. I mean, research a little more. You can order stuff on the app, I guess, and pick it up at the store, just like at a lot of grocery stores, I guess. And they said something about more changes. I should have got more information about that. Um, I should have. I apologize. Uh, and if you're wondering about the CBS Hall, I'm sorry I didn't post it. I will be posting it later. I'm trying to get um, some better video quality for it. So I will refilm it um, on a better uh, video recorder. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say about the policy update. So it was funny. The other day I was at CVS 
and I was like getting my coupons together and have you mind yeah I did not go at the most advantageous or the best time I did go at like 530 which is like a high traffic time because everyone's getting out of work so they go in they get the couple things they need or they get their medicines and you know all the tourists and everyone's on vacation that great stuff so the store was pretty busy um, time I checked out though there was a bit of a lull but then there started to be a back above the line but while I was in one of the aisles uh, there was this person it was funny and he was like I don't know if he thought I worked there or if he saw my coupon so he assumed that you know I knew where everything was but um, Gina Schwape who I did the um, collab with uh, and also the couponer tag thank you for everyone who did that that was pretty awesome a ton of people did it some people are actually still doing it I made a playlist of all the videos there's like 20 something of them so if you want to watch them all they are on my channel the New England coupon character um, I'll probably leave a link for them in the description box uh, so thank you for everyone who did that Gina can you believe what we well we didn't start it Ash loves coupons started it but like we got everyone else making you know responses to the tag I guess you could say Anyways, off topic. So someone asked me where the coffee was, and I was just like, I think it's over in the next aisle because I was in, like, the detergent aisle, um, which is next to, like, groceries and stuff. So I was just like, I had no idea, but I just guessed. I just said, I think it's in the next aisle, and he said, oh, okay, thank you, and then I walked by. It was in the next aisle, and that's not the first time that's happened to me, so it's really funny. And again, since there were a lot of people there, you betcha I get some people staring at me. Uh, you know, I don't really mind people staring at me. Um, I'm doing what I want to do. There were, like, two, three other couponers in there. There was one, um, I could see we're getting some of the deals I was getting. Some who were just using, like, a percentage off coupon or, you know, CBS coupons. Anyways, so it was funny. Like, this one lady, she was getting, like, the mouthwash and stuff. And she kept looking at my car and she would look at me and what I get. And that's what happens when I'm in the store with couponers. Like, they're always, like... Like, they're batty-eyed. They're like, what did you get? But they don't say anything. Um, although I do remember, it was funny. I went to Walgreens and CVS. I was in the store at the same time with the lady. And it was funny. We were like, sh I shared a deal with her. And she was like, oh, that's a good deal. I forget. It was on, like, Moneymaker Vitamins a couple of years ago. And then I think I saw her again on Black Friday. And it was it was funny. But, yeah. So it's just like, they have the batty eyes. And I do this sometimes, too. Uh, cause they see, like, I'm getting different stuff than them, so they're always like, what, what are you getting? What's the deal with that? And they're trying to figure it out, and then they go and they're, like, living rich with coupon matchups, and they're like, I don't see this on there, and I'm not poking fun of, or throwing, trying to show, throw shade at living rich with coupons. I use living rich with coupons sometimes, uh, and the only reason I'm saying that is because I've seen multiple people around in this area use living rich with coupons. <sighs> it's, it's just funny. Uh, and it's like that with Black Friday, too, because there's so many couponers in the store on Black Friday. We're all, like, running around. Um, but the cashiers at this store, I have a good relationship with them all. They're always like, you're the best couponer here. They're like, you don't mess up the stuff with your cards. You know, you're really good. You pay the least. Um, you get the most stuff. So, I, I like my store, my home store. Um, they're awesome. And I was making this analogy. Um, and I was telling my grandmother earlier. It's funny. Uh, it's sort of like politics couponing like you're the presidential candidate and then corporate is the party so like CVS you know Democratic Party Republican Party you know whatever you want to believe and then you know Rite Aid and Walgreens you know those are different parties third parties would be Walgreens because who liked Walgreens no I'm, I'm kidding I'm kidding I'm kidding <laughs> um, and then Rite Aid would be the other party and then you know, but each store is like a different state and you're trying to win at that store. And, you know, the different um, cashiers, I don't know what you would say, call them. You would call them, I don't know, maybe the voters. I don't know. Uh, no, the coupons, the coupons and the deals are the voters. There we go. And it's funny. It's like some stores, it's, re you know, you do really good at. Some stores you don't do really good at. So it's like my one store that I really like, they're super nice to me. I have no problems. They're fast. They're efficient. You know, we have good conversations. Um, they, that's my home store. So like, I'm like the Bernie Sanders and they're trying to get everything away for free. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I have stockpile sales. I raise my prices. Coupons are awesome. So... I know, he like shouts me out in every video, so I thought I would give him one shout out. So, 
basically, <laughs> you put me in the thumbnail. I'm getting off track. So basically, you know, some stores, you know, it's easy, better than other stores, you know, just like the States. So that my home store, store, you know, that was my Vermont and I was the Bernie Sanders. Well, I went to another store the other day too. And it was a little bit different. It was state, you know, I had some more problems with, you know, corporate, they're trying to rig it against us, but we're going to still stay in this party and work along the party lines, you know, to try to get, get those deals, get the nomination and then win the presidency. There we go. No, <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. And we're over 10 minutes now, so I'm going to wrap it up soon. But this was a couponing vlog. But let me quickly talk about Big Brother. Davon was evicted. Davon was evicted. She was my favorite. She made it to jury at least. I knew she wasn't going to win. I just put her in my um, Big Brother placements, which actually got a lot of views. I was pretty surprised. In, like, second place because I really liked her. It's funny. I said Tiffany was going to come in first. She didn't even make jury. That was funny. I do think um, a big mistake was the Frank, Tiffany, Devon. They were all going after each other. If Frank, Tiffany, and Devon, like, came together, they would have been a powerhouse alliance. Which, you know, is annoying. And now we just have little Bridget in there. I don't like Bridget. My grandmother likes Bridget. But she doesn't do anything. She doesn't provide anything. Um, but I'm hoping, maybe, based on the live feeds and stuff, maybe Natalie and James might pull Bridget in. And I, it's Michelle and Zakia are on the block, right? So, what's today? Tuesday? Tomorrow's Wednesday, so we have power veto tomorrow. So, Michelle and Zakia are on the block. I'm thinking Zakia's going to go home. And I'm hoping that. Because I think Zakia and um, Devon would be, you know, better in jury. But Michelle, I'm sort of rooting for Michelle now. She wants to get Polly out, which is good. We need a power shift, like Polly, to get out. I don't like Polly. He's trying to play that Derek game, which is sort of boring. And I don't know. I just don't like that personality type, you know, especially in the Big Brother house. It's kind of annoying. Um, and I hate it, you know, when you have that bros alliance controlling everything. Because that, you know, that happens like every other season. So it just gets boring. I want to see a power shift now. So I'd really like, um, you know, some type of Michelle, James, Natalie, Bridget Alliance. But <sighs> James is part of the s stupid executives or whatever. That's stupid. And then, like, even, um, what's her name? Nicole. Uh, she, I don't know, guys. Uh, like... She knows Corey's running the house, yet they're not doing anything. And what's annoying is, you know, you don't do, make any big moves unless, you know, you're about to head out the door. And that's what annoys me with this, these people. I want to go on that show one day. I'm going to be the next Dan. No, I'm kidding. I I wouldn't play like Dan. I don't know. I'd lay low at first. I, I'd probably throw a comp or two. But I'm hoping Zakia goes. There is some talk about um, there might be no round trip ticket at all. Well, plus it's a double eviction. What if Polly went home in the double eviction? That would be good. But I don't think the producers would have that happen. They wouldn't let Polly go in a double eviction. Uh, they'd let Tiffany go in a double eviction. No, I'm kidding. But they wouldn't let Polly go in a double eviction. It's just, for some reason, the producers probably love him. Because um, with the whole Polly and Zakia thing, they tried to cover that up. Because, you know, in case he won, they made it, you know, look bad. But didn't make him look terrible. But, you know. Uh, I'm totally against him now because of that as well. So I'm rooting for Michelle. Hoping she can pull it through. Maybe he'll go in the double eviction. But I hope he doesn't have the round trip ticket. Because there's talk. Because if Zakia has the round trip ticket, it's a waste of the, the twist. But they're talking about if there's no round trip ticket, what's going to happen? Is there going to be a jury buyback? And I personally don't think there will be. Because that's just too many times someone's been able to come back in. And it just gets a little bit... Um, redundant after a while but I think they might not have a double eviction they might not have two double evictions or they'll have you know like the B BB or Big Brother rewind or redo you know like they did with uh, Frankie Grande and that's how he got out I know everyone hated him maybe um Polly's the new Frankie Grande who knows that's all I wanted to talk about a little bit of vlog I like doing these occasionally just talking about my opinions on the policy updates um, some funny stories at CVS and a little bit of Big Brother like always so thank you for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe check my new channel I know I have to keep promoting it um, more Jacob 
And I will see you all in the next one. The New England Group Band character. Bye-bye.